I was the conductor of the Underground Railroad for eight years, and I can say what most conductors can't say. I never ran my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. Harriet Tubman Like Harriet Tubman, there are many other conductors such as Josiah Henson, James Fairfield, William Still, Thomas Garrett, and John Parker. Even though they all came from different backgrounds, all of them shared the same desire, freeing the slaves. In total, there is estimated to have been 3,000 people who helped turn away slaves. There were many others who wanted to help, but were scared of the consequences they would have to face. Others, however, hated the idea of their property being free and would stop at nothing to make sure that didn't happen. I knew she had run away, and I was going to do my part to help her along. I peeked out the window and saw white folks go by. I didn't move. I was so scared they was going to come in the cabin and search for that poor woman. Jenny Patterson. Because of these possessive slave owners, trying to escape was extremely difficult. For many slaves, the journey could be 1,000 miles long. Runaways would travel 10 to 20 miles at night or longer to get to their next station. There were many other challenges, such as risking getting caught and dying from starvation on the journey. Since the journey to freedom through the Underground Railroad was so risky, very few records were kept of those who reached freedom. However, William Still, a conductor, was very famous for keeping records of those he helped and eventually published a biography. In total, it is estimated that somewhere between 40,000 and 100,000 slaves reached freedom by using the Underground Railroad. Many of these slaves most likely passed through Ohio, which had the most direct route to Canada. About 60,000 slaves crossed the Ohio state line to freedom between 1812 and 1860. Thanks to the bravery of thousands of people, a new start at life was offered to those who had the courage to travel the Underground Railroad. Just like in today's world, thousands of people are risking their lives to save someone else's.